Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. In a previous video, I showed you how to massacre thousands of mosquitoes using a regular shop fan. This video, I'm going to be showing you how to control the mosquito population to as much as possible without using any electricity. Over the past few days, we received about 16 inches of rainfall, creating a perfect breeding ground for mosquitoes. When mosquitoes place their larvae in wet leaves or ditches, preventing the larvae from reaching maturity is almost impossible. Now this is something you would normally consider a no-no. Two open basins with stagnant water in them, providing a perfect breeding ground for mosquitoes. It attracts them, they find a place for their larvae to grow, and you can actually control them. If you are a responsible person, you can take a strainer every day, pull the larvae out, dump them in dry sand, take care of them that way, the bugs take them away. This pretty much does the same thing, but it's more of a automatic set it and forget it thing. What I have here, this is a glass jar in here. I'll get to that in a little bit. This is an evacuated tube. This is kind of like a thermos with one exception. The outside glass on this is clear, allowing sunlight to penetrate and absorb on the inner walls. These are usually used in the upright position to boil water with just direct sunlight. They can boil about 20 ounces of water in two or three hours. They also work upside down. This tube is filled and the water is held in place with a Torricelli vacuum. Now, if you don't know what that is, previous video I showed you how that works. It's pretty much a basic science project. So this is how a Torricelli vacuum works. Simple grade school project. When you put a container of water in, flip it upside down, the water stays because the pressure around it is holding it in place. You're going to notice that this tank is filled with a perfect breeding ground for mosquitoes, but there's something special about it and that I have these guys in there. So these are tadpoles and the tadpoles, there's actually no larvae in this tank at all. The tadpoles have completely devastated them. They really, really do eat them. They're omnivores, so they'll eat just about anything. The interesting thing about this is that this tube can be filled and the water inside the tube can get 170 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The opening to this tube is wide open to the basin of water. Another video that I did, I showed you how water in a Torricelli vacuum or just pretty much any layer of water with a different temperature, how there's a heat exchange. So cold water will fall out of a vessel and go down and mix in the basin. Hot water will stay up here. So the water inside this tube can be 170, 180 degrees and not mix with the water down here. This water stays nice and cool, lukewarm, so mosquitoes are still attracted to it. You can do the same thing if you don't have access for this project. If you don't have access to an evacuated tube, you can find them on the internet. They range in price from like 20 bucks up to 40 bucks, depending on different things. Anyways, you can use a regular glass bottle. I also showed another video how to make your own vacuum tube, but dark glass works. Now I have clear glass here because I'm gonna show you how things work on the inside. So the easiest way to do it, is to use a tube like this. I recommend using something like a shop vac or a small vacuum to do this. Don't use oral suction. You can do it. I'm going to do it with this because it's clear water. If you're, if you're doing it with fresh water, it's okay. You don't want to be sucking in stagnant water vapors from whatever's in there. So I'm just going to do this. You put the tube all the way to the top. This is why I'm using clear glass. So with the brown beer bottle or a dark colored glass vessel. You'd want it to be submerged in the water. Right now it's full of air. So when I suck on it, and all I have to do is remove my tube, and that stays. Another way that you can do this is the good old simple method, like I showed you over there. So you've got your bottle. Submerge it. And then what you do is you put your holder on, on there, cover it with your hand, flip it over and drop it in. And that's the easy way to do it. Very difficult to do with the evacuated tube. So you can do it that way, but drawing, sucking it up is another way of doing it. The way that these work is that when sunlight hits them during the day, the mosquito larvae look for a place to cool down. They go to the darkest area. They swim up there and swim right into 150, 160 degree water, pretty much kill themselves. 
This right here should be a dark bottle, like I was telling you. Clear will not work because sunlight passes right through it, so this bottle will not get much hotter. There is information on our website, greenpowerscience.com, with more details regarding the evacuated tubes and exactly how they work, where you can get them, that sort of thing. This is a very simple set it and forget it setup, and it actually works. I've killed thousands and thousands of mosquito larvae, and we still get mosquitoes. So it helps, but the wind blows and you start all over again, but it's a lot better than being swarmed. This is a way that you can get rid of a lot of mosquito larvae, give them an option, something that they want to go put their stuff in and boom, you kill them. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.